Today we are going to make tomato sauce. For the tomato sauce, these are the ingredients that are required. We are making a classical French tomato sauce which involves using of bacon. So, the first step that we are going to do is to render the bacon fat. Rendering the bacon fat is nothing but extracting the fat which is present in the bacon and we have to make sure that it is extracted properly for wholesome flavor of the whole sauce. Bacon is a pork product. A classical French tomato sauce always contains bacon in it. So, we are going to render the bacon fat over here like this. We are going to heat up the bacon in some oil and as you can see the uh, bacon starts oozing out fat and this is a very very flavorful fat and hence it is used in abundance in the classical French cuisine. Make sure that you keep stirring or the bacon will tend to stick to the bottom of the vessel. Like you can see over here, the bacon has oozed out a lot of fat and now to this we will be adding our chopped onions. We do not want to brown the onions over here, we just want to make sure that the onion turns translucent in color. So, we will be mixing the onions with the bacon and the bacon fat and making sure that it turns translucent in color. Once it's turned translucent in color, we will be adding the carrot and the celery. For this dish over here, we have taken a bit more of the carrot so as to give it a good presentable color. So, the color of the carrot is very very important for this dish and hence we have taken a bit more carrot than we do normally for the mirpur vegetables. So, over here we are still stirring up the carrot and the celery and making sure that it does not stick to the bottom and does not turn brown. If it turns brown, it leaves a very unfavorable color. To this mixture, we will be adding in the tomatoes and the flour and we will be cooking the tomatoes and flour on a medium flame and making sure that it cooks properly. Cooking over here is very very important because if you do not cook it properly, the tomatoes will not start oozing out water and flour is also important over here because it is the thickening agent in this dish. Once the tomatoes and the flour have mixed up and you have cooked it properly, you will add in the tomato puree and after adding in the tomato puree, you will again stir the whole mixture and then add some water to it and add in the flavoring that is your bay leaf and the peppercorns. This whole mixture will be cooked for approximately 20 to 30 minutes and then your sauce will be ready for further processing. Make sure to keep it mixing or stirring while the sauce cooks so that nothing sticks to the bottom and starts burning. After keeping it on the flame for 20 to 30 minutes, you will strain the sauce. Over here it is very important to strain the sauce properly because if you just pour the sauce out onto a strainer and leave it, there will be a lot of liquid loss especially the liquid with more flavor will be left behind as the tomatoes contain a lot of water or moisture which is present and it is most flavored. So, hence we are pressing the tomatoes out onto the strainer with the help of a round spoon and extracting the maximum liquid possible. So, over here like you can see the sauce is still pretty thin. What we will do is we will reduce it to half its quantity right now. So, we will keep it on the flame and reduce the sauce and like you can see over here, the sauce has thickened up and it is ready for service. This is your tomato sauce.